Good Sunday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather fog across the Arctic coast this afternoon as a frontal boundary sits across the Brooks Range. A lot of moisture working north of that, and as that elevated warm air continues to flow over much colder ocean water, expect fog to continue as we head into tonight and tomorrow. In the meantime, the powerful weather maker across Bristol Bay and east of the Problobs north of the Alaska Peninsula continues to spin at 984 millibars, producing quite a bit of wind across across the YK in southwestern Alaska. More rain for the eastern Aleutians and some gusts there. Gales may continue well into tonight and tomorrow. Another extension of the storm is working through the western and northern Gulf of Alaska at 1,005 millibars. That's been producing some very heavy rainfall totals. Uh, Two-day totals, in fact, across the Valdez area may have reached as high as nine inches around a few areas closer to the coast. Across the northern Gulf Coast today for uh, northeastern and western parts of Prince William Sound, a small stream flood advisory will continue. Look for excessive runoff there with another one to three inches of rain expected through today and into tomorrow. The front across the Arctic coast will continue to wobble north and south over the next two days. That will keep areas of poor visibility very close to the coastline and may allow a few showers to form heading into Monday. Across the eastern interior, it's been a warm and windy day for the Deltana and Tanana Flats region. Wind advisories are expected to continue there with some stronger gusts that may last into Monday. The southerly winds flowing over the higher train and descending across places like Fairbanks have boosted daytime temperatures once again into the mid-70s. It's not a record temperature, but it is a certainly a very warm day with average highs typically in the mid-50s for this time of the year. Enjoy that while it lasts. Showers will continue across the Norton Sound region and Seward Peninsula as we head through Monday. Another wave of low pressure works up across the southern bearing toward the southwest coastline by Tuesday at 994 millibars. That frontal boundary will work closer to Kodiak Island, bringing another risk of showers and some light rainfall to the region. Rain will continue around Prince William Sound and South Central will continue with the chance for showers. Northerlies will continue to work south of the Bering Strait across the western Bering Sea. That'll cool temperatures down a little bit across the central and western Aleutian slowly and surely. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder encouraging you to check out weather.gov slash Alaska.